morning, Byram Schools. Welcome to the Byram News Network. My name is Kat. And I'm Brianna. Today is Wednesday, May 17th, 2017. It is a B day. Just a reminder that the school store will be open during lunches on Thursdays only. Come check it out when you need new supplies. Today's band lessons are beginner clarinets periods 3 and 4, advanced clarinets periods 7 and 8, and baritones and trombones periods 13 and 14. Tomorrow's lessons are advanced trumpets periods 3 and 4, beginner trumpets periods 7 and 8, and tenor saxophones period 13 and 14. The spring band concert is tomorrow at 7 p.m. If you are in the band, please report back to the school by 6.30. All band members should come to band rehearsal tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Coming up is the fundraiser for 6th grade Frost Valley trip, and they need your help. Clean out your closets from now until May 26th. 6th grade is collecting wearable and usable clothing for men, women, and children. Additional items include shoes, belts, handbags, household linens, and stuffed animals. Place all items in a well-tied plastic bag. Please put shoes in their own bag. They are also accepting plastic toys. All items should be brought to the BIS main office. Attention Safety Patrol. Your next meeting will take place at Sky Zone on Thursday, May 25th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Track team, remember that you have practice after school today. Now we go to part two of the third episode of Bet You Didn't Know. Yes, I know that's true. Well, okay. Uh, true? True. Ooh, you think you use your whole brain when you do music? Do music? You might, because you have to read the music and think about the music. Yeah. You think that's true also? Yeah. Okay, true again. True. Researchers have used functional magnetic resonance imaging to record the brain responses of people listening to music. By doing this, they discovered that areas of the brain are motored by musical pulse recruits. The limbic areas of the brain, which are associated with emotions, were discovered to be closely linked with rhythm and tonality processing of a piece of music. Mind-wandering creativity of the brain is thought to be associated with the processing of timbre, which is the character or quality of a musical sound, such as, such as its pitch and intensity. Mm. I'm going to go with true because the violin is pretty small. Uh, I have no idea. I'm going with true. <laughs> oh my god, that is hard. I don't know, but I think is false. Ten pieces of wood and a violin. I don't know anything about violins. Do you know what a violin is? Mm -hmm. You play like this. Um, what do you think? Ten pieces of wood? It's pretty, it's like this big. I don't know. Ten pieces of wood? More or less? I'll say false. Okay. I think false too. I think it's less. False. Even though the violin is a small instrument, the modern violin includes over 70 pieces of wood, usually maple or spruce. Violin makers choose wood from trees that are grown at high altitude on northern slopes. The wood is cut during the winter and dried for several years in precisely controlled conditions. The drying or seasoning time is usually 10 or more years depending on the thickness and size of the wood. Some violins are dried for 50 years. The modern violin has existed for almost 500 years and was designed in the 1500s. True, because these sounds pretty old and I think they would make mistakes like back then with stuff like that. False. True. There are two skulls and just, I don't know who Joseph Haydn is. He's a composer. Oh, you think there's two heads, skulls in his tomb? That means there'd be like two people buried there. Yeah, I think it's true. True? Okay. Thank you. True. Two 
phrenologist stole the famous composer's head to examine it. In 1820, Prince Esterhazy found the body headless when he ordered the remains to move from Vienna to Eisenstadt. When he attempted to find the lost skull, he was tricked into receiving a skull that was not Haydn's. The real skull was passed around between many different people, and the fake one replaced it until 1954, when the real skull was reunited with the body. The decoy skull was never removed, and it remains there to this day. Today's quote of the day is by Marcus Aurelius. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, think accordingly. If you want to be happy, think happy. Make, Make it, it a great day, Byram!